Hi, welcome to the Solutions Manual. This is the fundamental problem 4-39 from R.C. Hiballer Engineering Statics 12th edition. According to this problem, we have to determine the resultant force and specify where it acts on the beam measured from A. To solve this problem, first of all, we have to consider that it is not a point loading but a distributed loading. So I can resolve this triangular loading into two right angle triangles. So if I draw them, This is the distributed loading now 6 kilo newton meter is the maximum loading which acts at this point so it is common for both of the triangles so this end is 6 kN per meter also this end is 6 kN per meter this is point B this is point A this length is 3 meters the base of the smaller triangle and the base of the larger triangle is 6 meters now if you look at the figure the distributed loading is forming a shape of the triangle so I can find their resultant by finding the area of each triangle. So for the force at A, consider a smaller triangle. Now area of the smaller triangle is equal to half of the base which is 3 meters into the altitude which is 6 kilo newtons per meter so what do we have we have 9 9 kilo newtons so this is the force at a Now we can also find the location of the of this force at A by finding the centroid of this smaller triangle. So for the centroid, centroid of force at A. Now centroid is equals to this is the thicker end, this one. So we have 1 over 3 to the base, which is 3. So centroid is 1 meters from point A from point A. Now the force F A and this centroid will look something like this. Let's say this is 1 meters. This is the force at A and this is its location 1 meters from the point A. Also we can do the same to find the force at B. For the force at B I have to consider the larger triangle so again fb is equals to its area area of the small area of the larger triangle half of base which is 6 and to the altitude which is 6 kilonewtons 
per meter so our answer is 18 kilo newtons also the location of this force fp can be found by finding the centroid of the larger triangle so centroid of the larger triangle is equals to if you consider this point this thicker end then it is 1 over 3 to the base which is 6 meters so it is 2 meters so the force fp will look like something like this if i draw it 2 meters from point a so it will be somewhere like this like here let's call this fp and the location from point a is 2 meter now we have to find the resultant force so we have to sum up these two forces for the resultant force resultant force fr is equals to fa plus fp so fa is 9 kilo newtons and fp is 18 kilo newtons so fr is 27 kilo newtons now we have found the resultant force now our last target for this problem is to find its location Till now, we have only found the location of these two individual forces. Now, before that, I have to write a statement here. Resultant moment at A, which is due. to the resultant force is equal to the sum of the moments about point A. So the statement looks something like this that moment at A if I take clockwise moment as positive then it is equals to fr and the moment arm which in turns is equals to sum of the moments about point a now this x bar represents the moment arm of the resultant force or you can say that it is the location of the force fr from point a so now we have a statement here and on the basis of that statement we have formed our equation so if i look at figure then at point A, if I take clockwise moment as positive, then the force FP is trying to rotate the assembly clockwise, so it is taken as positive. While the force FA is trying to rotate the assembly anti-clockwise, so it is taken as negative. Now the moment arms from the point A is 2 meters for the force FP and 1 meter for the force FA. So we have fr moment arm is equals to fp into 2 minus fa into 1 so fr is 27 moment arm and the location of the force we have to find out fp is 18 kilo newton so it is 36 minus fa is 9 kilo newtons we have found earlier 
so it is 9 so x bar is equals to 27 kilonewtons so From here, x bar is equals to 27 over 27, which is 1 meters. So the position of the resultant force is 1 meter from point A. From point A. This force FR will look something like this on the diagram. If I zoom in. If it is one meter, this is the force FR, and it is at a distance of one meter from point A. So, this is the answer to this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates.